Hello everybody, Harding Boys here, welcome back to the JAD server. So you may be wondering what it is we're standing on. Uh, <laughs> we just made a humongous, I mean, when I say humongous, I mean, oh my word, this is the biggest thing I've ever seen, humongous. Now this doesn't look too big on the surface. Um, this is only, what is this, 25 by 25? I think that's right. Anyway, 25 by 25, but then you go down another 12 blocks. So 25 by 25 by 12 is a lot of blocks. Now you may, may be wondering why we have all of that. Well, you see, we put water in all of that. And that is to make some squiddies spawn. So what you're looking at is basically a giant squid, squid farm. Uh, and it's beyond the scope of most squid farms. Uh, this is this is a bit much, probably more than necessary. But if you're gonna go, you gotta go big, right? So this is how this works. I'm gonna show you guys here. Uh, Zonders is on with Murtag. They both they've both been helping. Mostly, mostly Zonders has been helping out. So anyway, um, what ends up happening is that uh, in that block space, you have 12 blocks of water flowing down, and the squid will spawn in those, those areas, and then fall down to the sign area. Uh, like there's an entire layer of signs. And that layer will then drop the squid into the water that's flowing towards the collection area, where they will die and drop their ink, which we already have ink. We just, I mean, we just finished this. So this is, kind of makes me really happy about this. So, and Murtag kind of came in and uh, fixed it. Why did he do that? <laughs> okay, I see, I see. Anyway, um, he kind of fixed some of the glass stuff going on around here because we kind of messed that up just a little bit. That's okay. Uh, I like the design though. I like it. It looks pretty decent to me. I like the stained glass. Anyway, I, I think this is a pretty good pretty good farm. Now if we were to get out of here long enough, I'm pretty sure we would be seeing some serious some serious ink going on in here. Because I think the reason they haven't spawned is because we're too close right now. But that's because we just finished it. So uh, I wanted to show you guys our, our new little project. Or our new little machine, as you were as you will. Hello. What you looking at, bud? Hee <laughs> hee. Now he's not gonna fight me, is he? No no, he's not. Look at that. No ho. I wouldn't fight me. Enchanted sword. Lots of armor. So the reason we made this giant squid farm, I'm actually not sure. All I know is that uh, Zonders has got a project that he's working on that requires a lot of black stained glass. And so he wanted a lot of... He wanted a lot. A lot. Of ink. He's also Steve. Hi, Steve. I, I'm just, I'm not going to attack. Wait, I bet you I can, oh, do it again, do it again, do it again, come on. Shoot up in the air, come on, do it. Let's do it, I'll do it then. Nobody else is going to do it. Ah, I just built it, I just missed it. <laughs> We've been trying to make get him to make a, a no blaze spawner. We've been trying to get him to build a blaze farm for two servers now, so that's like six updates ago. <laughs> Saunders doesn't care so much for that.
Um, actually, we do have one that's not... I mean, it's probably not quite a dual blaze spawner, but they're pretty close together. Probably not too far away. Let's see. Uh, well, I mean... That might be the issue. I'll go back. That's a good question. I'm not entirely sure how close those blaze are, those blaze spawners are, because if they're not close enough to both spawn blaze at the same time, it might be fruitless. Okay. Let me do this. Let's turn this up. I think that'll go up to 100, right? I won't worry about it. I think Zonders is going to go try to tame that horse. Or maybe hit, kill it, I don't know. One or the other. Okay, so this is something to do with his new project. I really have no idea what he's doing. It's going to be a surprise to me. Whatever it is, though, I know he, he needed water breathing potions and night vision potions. Because he asked me to make him some in my little factory area. And so I did that, and I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna leave him with some some other stuff as well. Some more than just the potions. I think we're gonna leave him some scuba gear. But we'll see how that goes. May require me to make some sacrifices then. Thank you for putting on the tunes there. Let's take a stack. No, half stack's fine. What are they all putting up? That's what I want to know. Okay, that's not okay. Mm -mm. Mm. Playing with the trap door. Okay, this needs to get finished over here. Clearly, I started putting a wall up on all of this stuff and then decided against it. Uh, so. That was a fun little project. I'd like to find something else that we can both work on, though. Me and Zonders. Uh, Murtag has been pretty preoccupied lately, but I'm glad he got on tonight. What do I want? Do you have any... Here's what I need to do. I need to bring all my emeralds in here. I have a ton. Like, it's stupid, the amount of emeralds I have from doing nothing. And it wasn't mining either, that was that was only like this is all trading with villager stuff. Let's go back to my base and trade it up with the villagers. Not the, trade it up, but go get the emeralds we traded up with the villagers. Where is my hunger? Why is my hunger gone? What is that? Oh, because I'm in a minecart. Burp. <laughs> How does I Minecraft? How does I? It, it, oh, yep, there it is. Sure enough. Wait, hold on. Before I go in there. Oh, this is almost... F yeah, we'll get to that later. That should yield me like a stack and a half of nether later. Which I will need. Alright, so... Came in here... Why did I come in here? I came to my base for something. What was it? Well, that's dumb. It doesn't make me very happy. I thought it was working. Clearly squids do spawn in there, though. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, that's... Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Blast to be up to you. Okay. Okay. Well, let's... Oh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, man. Okay, let's, yeah, that's a better idea for that. Let's set this down on the ground, then. Uh, okay. So I guess we're putting up water bottles. I guess that's what we're doing, hmm? Uh, okay, was there another chest that I just didn't see? That I didn't pick up? Or... Let's do that. Let's just put them in here. Easier. I... <laughs> yeah, I seriously need to fix that. Because that is not okay. Okay, really? I'm gonna fix this today. This is happening. This is... This is project. This is what we do. We're gonna fix this. Where did I put all of these water bottles? I, did I have that many chests? Really? Man. Well, that's frustrating. I'll tell you what. Creeper Blast, man. They probably don't even know about that. Zondras and Mute. Alright, let's put this on here. And put this on top of this. Cool. That should deal with that. Now, I think I have some glass in here. Yeah, I do. Good old glass. I do indeed. A little over a stack and a half. No, almost two stacks. I think that's it. I think that's all. Did they put any up here? I don't think so. I usually don't do that. That is... He, he ruined my stone couch and everything. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go help him out with that. Since it's not really his project. Anyway, he's just trying to contribute as much as possible, which I am grateful for. But I have these somewhere. I have a whole bunch of these somewhere. Yeah, not a whole bunch, but more than that. Alright. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, actually, hold on. Let's find a fix for this first. Ugh. I don't even know where to start with this, really. This was like Creeper Central. Oh, goodness. Here's what I think. I think this will work. If I just... Okay, here's what we'll try. We'll try... Go stone anywhere. Stone bricks. Let's do that. Let's do the stone bricks. Because that will fit with the rest of this. Maybe I'll go back in later and put all this to stone brick as well. Okay, so we're going to actually just make a wall. Yeah, I figured we would get to it. I knew they were spawning. I wasn't too concerned about that. Alright, so then we can come up here. And break that. And put that there. And if I can get some ladders, we'll crawl it up to the top. Do I have ladders? No ladders on me. Ooh, wood. Huh. Oh, I have lots of sticks though. That should work. That should work just fine. Right there. Twelve is plenty. I'll come over here. And I don't like this exit, but 
it's just going to be what we're going to do for now because right now that many mobs coming in at one time is just a little overwhelming Come on down, buddy. Alright, let's go check these guys out. Now that that's all fixed. That was a mess, though. I'm going to have to clean up the top of it, too, at some point. Oh, I love my stained glass. I really do. I like having a lot of it, anyway. Alright, let's go. Let's roll. Let's go down here and check on the ink. See what we got. Let's see if we got anything good. Should just be some. See, look at that. They're dying right there. You can watch them. Oh, that's why I put glass there. 32. Yep, it's definitely working. Any of you ladies know which way to the ink farm? Would you look at that? That just, oh, that just warms my heart to watch that. Look at that. Well, I'm happy with this. It's a good build. So, if you guys were ever wondering what a great idea for a uh, squid farm would look like, here it is. The epic squid farm. Massive size, massively effective, doesn't take up too many expensive resources, doesn't require glass, although if you want to be cool, you can use glass. That's what the cool people are using. But you can do this any way you want. Just to give you guys some ideas. I think this is pretty good. We had no earthly idea. We me and Alex were the ones, me and Saunders were the ones who put this together. And we had no previous knowledge of any kind of squid farm. Never watched a video on how to build one. Never seen any ideas for one. Just kind of winged it. This is what we came up with. And I'm quite proud of it. With this and the signs underneath. I don't know if you can see them. You'll probably see them if I stand here. Maybe. Yeah, you can see some some lines running. Those are the signs. But it's a pretty good it's a pretty good system we got going on. guys well I think I'm just gonna have to call it here but I think uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys get some ideas for squid farms if you have better ideas maybe how to improve this one or uh, maybe ideas of your own please leave a comment or a like if you like to see more of this stuff go ahead and subscribe man just do it what you waiting for this is Harding Boys signing out from the JAD server goodbye guys